The head of the New Mexico Finance Authority is now on paid leave while the investigation into the authority's finances intensifies. His suspension comes a day after two top executives at that public lending agency were arrested and charged with securities fraud for allegedly cooking the books. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live in Santa Fe. Alex? Dick, Jessica, the scandal at the New Mexico Finance Authority has been growing for weeks now. This is a group that's a low-cost lender for cities, counties, and school districts across the state. Today, the authority's board took major action as a result. After more than two hours behind closed doors, the NMFA board unanimously placed CEO Rick May on paid administrative leave. It also took action against COO John Duff. Duff was arrested in front of the NMFA headquarters in downtown Santa Fe yesterday morning. Duff and former controller Greg Campbell are, char uh, are charged with securities fraud and racketeering. Investigators say Campbell used a forged audit to hide about $40 million in revenue that was paid back to the legislature over two years to help with the state's budget crunch. According to a criminal complaint, Duff approved of the illegal accounting. Today, he was placed on unpaid administrative leave. Stepping in as interim CEO is Brett Woods, currently the Deputy Cabinet Secretary for the New Mexico Energy, Minerals, and Natural Resources Department, although the board is not expecting him to fill that seat for long. I think the anticipation is that he would be there, I, I would prefer if he was there three to five days. I mean, we are talking a very short-term appointment while the board can go out and find someone who is qualified to be an interim director. Board Chair Nan Winter tells me that both May and Duff do not have contracts and can be fired by the board at any time with or without cause. However, today's agenda only allowed the board to place the two men on administrative leave. Back to you. Wow, what a mess. Thank you, Alex. The state auditor is still trying to determine whether any money has actually been stolen. Meanwhile, the NMFA has limited how much it will loan out for projects around the state, which hurts communities and also hurts job growth.